Welcome to ITU's headquarters for WISIS Forum 2019 as we celebrate the 10th year anniversary of the event. And I, I am joined and delighted to be joined by the Deputy Secretary General of ITU, Malcolm Johnson. Malcolm, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you, Charlotte. Nice to be here. So, Malcolm, as we reflect over the past 10 years, mm. can you tell us about <coughs> the journey of the WISIS Forum, where we are at today, but what's been achieved over the past 10 years? Mm. Well, it's a very exciting uh, journey. Uh, I, I was at the first uh, WISIS Forum 10 years back. Um, we had uh, less than 300 participants. And as you know, now, this year, we have over 3,000. So it's very, very nice to see that uh, the event has grown each year. And uh, we've always tried to innovate uh, each year to bring in some new elements. Uh, so it's really developed tremendously o over these 10 years. But one thing that's uh, been constant throughout that is the original idea of bringing people together to exchange uh, some best practices, some innovative ideas that others can learn about and take home with them and uh, also implement at their home country and, and benefit uh, their own people and businesses. Uh, so it's really an exchange of um, best practices, innovative ideas, knowledge sharing. And um, although we've, we now have a lot of more participants than we used to have, uh, I find that um, they all really find it worthwhile. You know, they, they come voluntarily. They don't have to come, of course. But they really find they come because they find it really worthwhile. And that's the nice thing about it. And of course, we've got the prizes. It's nice to get a prize, but <coughs> this, these prizes actually do make a difference because uh, I've spoken to uh, prize winners and they've always told me what a big difference it's made to them because they've got maybe they got better support from their government for, for their project or they got some investment that they were struggling to get. Um, having this prize really makes a difference. I think it's very important indeed to emphasize the fact that WISIS Forum can lead to real change on the ground. It's not just a place where people talk, it's also a place where people decide on action to take to use ICTs for uh, delivering the UN Sustainable Development Goals. Tell us more about that. Yes, well now of course we, uh, we relate uh, all that we're doing in regard to the WISIS Action Lines to the uh, Sustainable Development Goals. Um, and that's really, uh, you know, the driving force now behind it. It is really looking at how we can use the technology to reach uh, all 17 sustainable development goals. So the discussion um, really uh, surrounds that and the main challenges that we've faced today with the major technological advances coming along like artificial intelligence, IoT, 5G, blockchain, etc., etc. You know, We have to ensure that um, these technological advances benefit everyone everywhere. And we can only do that you know, by having all the various stakeholders come together and uh, look at how we can really ensure that everyone benefits from these technological advances. Uh, as, as we know, half the world's population is still uh, unconnected. Most of these are living in the rural areas. Um, and in some countries, that's, you know, 70, 80 percent of the population is in rural areas. So there's a lot of people there that are unconnected. And that's the main challenge. So a lot of the discussion is around how we can bring connectivity to these people and then bring them the ad advantages of being connected. Um, of course, it's not just the connectivity because they've got to be um, aware of the benefits of connecting and that they can see the advantages of paying whatever it is they're going to have to pay to be connected. So uh, we have to get that across to people. People have to be, um, you know, have the digital skills to take advantage of the connectivity. But also the content has to be there to their advantage. So we need to encourage more uh, local content in local languages, and that's another theme that's uh, coming out a lot in all the discussion at the WISIS Forum. So addressing the paradox of connectivity and the introduction of very innovative technologies, is that what is likely to keep you very busy in the next 10 years? 
Yeah, that's uh, something that's keeping us busy now mm -hmm. and uh, we'll continue to do so because it's challenging. Um, you know, it's the reason why there isn't connectivity in those areas is because uh, there's a very poor return on investment compared to the urban areas. So we have to encourage more public-private partnerships. You know, governments have got to uh, really take a lead in uh, encouraging investment in those areas and give incentives uh, to provide connectivity in, in those areas and also to, to develop the digital skills as well necessary. And um, with major developments like artificial intelligence, you know, that has tremendous uh, potential for improving the lives of those people in those areas. Um, but the risk is, of course, that um, we won't be able to bring them those benefits if we don't have that connectivity. So connectivity and ethics are likely to dominate discussions in the years ahead? Yes, uh, I think, you know, that's everybody that's coming to this event, you know, it doesn't matter where they, which type of stakeholder. And it's a really, tr truly stakeholder event, which is very nice to see because I often quote, if you look at uh, the contributions made in the open consultation in preparing for the WISIS forum, you know, we have thousands and thousands participating in that open consultation. but. Uh, we did a pie chart to see where the contributions are coming from and it's almost equally divided between the five main stakeholder groups, government, private sector, civil society, academia and other uh, organizations, regional and international. It's almost an equal 20% for each of the five. So it's, it's really uh, a truly uh, multi-stakeholder event and it's only by having discussion amongst all those stakeholders that we can really ensure that this technology is going to be beneficial for everyone everywhere. Malcolm Johnson, thank you very much. Pleasure, thank you.